Uh, hello, everyone. Peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we are going to, uh, to to talk about something very important. And um, I know I started very early today, uh, but uh, you know, always a good to do good things, right? Uh, all of us we hear about the Quran, how the Quran is preserved, and how it's amazing, etc. But there is, you know, simple questions you ask. And you will find that the Quran cannot stand a very simple question. And today in our uh, uh, broadcast, uh, we are going to ask those questions and you will see how simple they are. And at the same time, Islam cannot stand them. Uh, and they will receive more people to watch. Let us hear some music for a few minutes, three minutes maybe, and we will be back uh, together. I think this is enough for, for now. Um, just I wanted to be sure that we have uh, uh, some people listening. Uh, this is Mozart, and I challenge Allah to give us better than Mozart. It's very funny when the Quran says uh, that Allah, he challenged anyone to make Quran better than his Quran, and uh, or even similar. When we know the Quran mentioned clearly that Muhammad, he received satanic verses, which mean Muhammad, he received satanic Quran, and Muhammad himself did not notice. But however, our topic today is not about this. Our topic today is more simple, and in the same time, it's complicated, and Muslims will have no answer for it. So please feel free to share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. And your support is always appreciated. Now, the Quran says, uh, let us switch to Arabic, Remember, when I say the Quran says, I mean the Quran says, not me, uh, not you. Uh, so I want Muslims to focus with me and don't think I'm making a claim. So Quran says, mean Quran says. Uh, Christian prince says, it's mean Christian prince said. Uh, but Muslims always they have a problem with focusing. I'm going to turn off all the things in the screen. So... Uh, we will have nothing to prevent us from reading together. <clears throat> if you see with me here, I will get a verse for you. And we will read together. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ الْبَحْرُ مِدَادًا لِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّي لَنَفَدَ الْبَحْرُ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَنْفَدَ كَلِمَاتُ رَبِّي Let us see translation. You can read any translation you want. It doesn't matter really. All Muslim translation is not accepted by me, and by the way, are not accepted by Muslims. The reason for that, Muslims, they knew that those translations are meant to fool you, not to meant to translate. Uh, <clears throat> in this chapter, chapter 18, verse 109, say, if the ocean were ink, if the ocean were to be ink, what does that mean exactly? Uh, Allah is saying, Allah Himself saying, that if the ocean was all of it ink, not water, it's not going to be enough to write the words of my Lord Allah. 
it's not what it's not enough to write the words of my Lord Allah so the ink will be exhausted the ocean ink or the ocean water which is going to turn to be an ink will be exhausted before is going to be even enough to finish the words of Allah and here I ask myself a very simple question <laughs> I mean who is the stupid here what words Allah is talking about if Allah he mentioned this to prove to us that he is a talking God well obviously you are very successful to deliver that message but that does not make sense because according to Muslims Muhammad is the last of the prophets if we go to the Quran you will find a verse in the Quran chapter 33 verse number 40 and this verse according to the Muslim understanding not my understanding Muhammad is not the father of any of your men but he is the messenger of Allah and he is the seal of the prophets what does that mean you know when somebody says to me that this is the seal of the prophet it's mean there's no prophets after him what does that mean exactly it's mean Allah stopped talking Allah stops sending messages if this is a scenario then how stupid this verse is that in the time of Muhammad not before Allah is saying that his words is endless and the ink if it was the water of the, the, the ocean will not be enough to write the words of Allah but this is not be about the Quran because I can print the Quran with the you know a small quantity of ink it's very easy you know it's a few hundred pages so what what Allah mean that his ink or the ink of the ocean or the oceans are not going to be enough to write the words of Allah the only way to accept this at, uh, as uh, not a contradiction if Allah keeps sending messengers and always he will send messages and he will never stop but as long Muhammad is the last prophet then that's very stupid statement to say now there is something very funny here more than this if Allah now became a mute Allah is the mute God he don't talk to no more he don't send prophets as you see in the verse we mentioned to you another chapter uh, chapter 33 verse number 40 Muhammad is the last prophet which means after that there's no words of Allah is coming so the mute God if he's still talking in heaven he's talking to who what the point of this verse especially this is not before heaven because he's talking about ink which is the water ocean or the ocean uh, uh, which we have so this ink have to be an ink of this earth and the talk should be a talk for the people of this earth and this is why we say that Islam and Quran is a very stupid book made by a naive person who like to exaggerate this is nothing but a message of exaggeration and Muhammad he failed to deliver it in a smart way uh, you know uh, the last prophet thing I don't believe in it but I'm not going to discuss now what I what uh, I think what Muhammad here he meant I will go what, by what Muslims believe you see there's there's what I think what Muhammad he meant my understanding and what Muslims so for now I will focus in what Muslims believe so here there's a very clear contradiction in the two verses now this Quran we have in front of us we are reading from this is the Quran uh, reported according to the Quran of Hafs let me grab the Quran a second <clears throat> if you have a Quran at home you can open I'm talking about the Arabic one I don't know in the English one how it is uh, you can open the Quran to page number A supposed it's going to be the from the left remember in Arabic we read it from right to left in English it's going to be from the right because the end of the Quran is at the end of the right side if you go to that part you will see it says that this Quran oh, sorry it doesn't say even Quran it says هذا المصحف ضبط على ما يوافق رواية حفص ابن سليمان ابن المغيرة الأسدي الكوفي according to so according to Hafs according to Asim 
uh, according to Abi Abdul Rahman, uh, according to Osman, uh, uh, to uh, 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 Osman, according to Ali, according to Abi Talib, according to Zaid, according to Thabit, according to Abi uh, Ibn Kab, according to Muhammad. Look how many according. I remember once there was a video made by a Muslim. Uh, I think his name Abdul Rahman Green, something like this. He's a stupid convert. He said, <laughs> "Your, you know, your Bible is according to John. Your uh, your uh, Bible is according to Luke. Your accord according according to according to your Quran. All of it is according to. But the, the disaster today I'm going to talk about is not this. This Quran is not even called Quran. It's called Mushaf, and this is according to riwayat to Hafs, which means the recitation of Hafs." Now, who is Hafs? What you will hear today is a disaster. It is what? It is a disaster. Uh, this is a Muslim website. Uh, sorry, this is Google Book. All right. This is Musnad Ahmad. Musnad Ahmad. Musnad who? Ahmad. <laughs> and this is a very, very, very powerful name in the Islamic religion so according to Musnad Ahmad let me zoom in so Muslims can read with me ah, I forgot Muslims do not know Arabic sorry uh, Musnad Ahmad variant number two and we are reading uh, in page 126 as you see in the screen 126 as you see in the screen i hope it's clear for you uh look what it says here about hafs first of all Musa ahmad is reporting a hadith and this hadith is coming from hafs hadathana amr ibn uthman al ruqi uh, uh, حدثنا حفص أبو عمر عن كثير عن etc عن etc عن etc عن etc. He said, look what it says here. This hadith number one two six seven. This is a very extreme, weak hadith. Not only this. And then he report how many people consider it as ضعيف, and it is very ضعيف, and even in Nasai. He mentioned it too, and he says it's matruk, which matruk, which means leave it alone. It's really some, it's something messed up. Why it's messed up? Why it's messed up? Because it's reported by a guy, his name Hafsu Abu Umar, who was Hafs ibn Sulaiman al Bazaz al Qari, Sahib Qira at Hafs. It is it is it is thrown away because this is coming from a man. His name is Hafs, and he is the one who is very well known by the Quran today. Is the report of Hafs? The Quran today we have is coming from him. What what this is mean that the Muslims accusing this man to be a liar? Actually, I will show you in different place where it says that he is a liar and he is a thief. He is a liar and he is a thief. It says, So he is good in hadith, but he is, sorry, he is bad in hadith. He is a liar in hadith, but he is an imam in the Quran. Like that, how this can be? How we can trust a, a, a liar uh, who is a, he's a liar in the, in the hadith, but he is trustworthy in the Quran? <laughs> Let us continue. And this is what uh, Al Hafiz he said, and Al Bukhari said too. He said, Taraku, they left it alone. Wakala Ahmad ibn Hamba Rahamullah, Kala Yahya, etc. Akhada Minni Hafsun ibn Sulaymana Kitaban, Falam Yuruduhu, Wakana Yahu the Kutubun Nas, Fayan Sahaha Wayani and Hukana Yansa Hukit Kutuban, Lam Yas Maha, Fayu Hadith Biha, Kanaha Minsa Maihi. Let me translate, guys. This is this is a disaster. Ahmad uh, ibn uh, Hanbal, he is talking. He says, Yahya, 
he mentioned by Shaba that Shab, uh, uh, that Hafs, the one who made the Quran today we have in our hand, he took from me a book and he never returned it back. And he used to take books from people and he write it down as if it is his own. And he mentioned it as if it's his own book and his own words. And look what his case, he continued talking and saying, and he was a liar. He was what? He was a liar. <laughs> like what? <laughs> the one who wrote the Quran for the Muslims, the one who recited the Quran for the Muslims. The Muslims, they received the Quran from this guy. He is a liar. Don't you see something wrong here? I hope we have some Muslims are listening and they they will have any comment about this. If let me zoom in on on where it says and he wakanakadhaban. Do you see it? I made I made it big. And he used to be, he, he is a liar. We have a Muslim, his name is Miss Servant. How are you, Mr. Servant? The Quran you have today, but you're in your hands, is coming for you from someone, the Muslims call him Kadhab, which means a liar, a fabricator, a scumbag. What, you know, and the funny, look what the Muslims, just to show you how Muslims are, they try to run away from the truth. Look what we are showing them, how important the proofs we are showing. And this guy is saying to us, the Prophet, he have many miracles proven to be true. Those miracles reported by who? Where? The Quran itself, I don't want to choose the topic, but just to show, let, let, let me get him busted in a second. The Quran says that Muhammad have zero miracles. So who is the liar here? Allah refrain from sending any miracles. So who is a liar here? We refrain from sending miracles. Who is talking? Who is talking? Allah. Refrain. Do you know what refrain? We refrain from sending signs only because the man of former generation treated them as false which is a lie because the christian believe in the miracles of jesus and the miracles of moses and all the prophet before that so what miracles you are talking about so let us go back to zero this muslim trying to disturb us so we will not expose his prophet and get him busted so what we what we uh, what we notice here in this book we are reading in front of us that the Muslims reject any hadith reported by Hafs. And Hafs was a thief. He borrowed books. Not only he steal the books, he steal them the, the books literally, and he even claimed the books to his own, which means he borrow a book, he borrow my book, and then he write it down, and he say, this is his book. Look what it says. So he used to borrow books and then he make it, he claimed that it is his own books and he speak about it as he, he is the one who heard it, but the fact he never heard this. And not only this, it says, uh, but hold on, later we will see that Asim is a scumbag too. <laughs> so we have Hafs, the one who reported the Quran, is a thief, and the Muslims called him a liar. Guys, focus with me. Don't focus in the room when open. Come on, focus with me. This is serious. This is the one who did bring the Quran to Muslims alive. The Quran today, the Muslims, they have the most pop, you know, popular uh, copy. By the way, there's many copies and they are different. As an example, the, the Quran of Hafiz is forbidden in Morocco. They don't accept it. They have different uh, Quran. Now, uh, what what it says, and this is the book of Musnad Ahmad, 
let me show you in the screen again this is the book of Musnad Ahmad I I hope uh, the screen is clear so this is the book of Musnad Ahmad volume number two and we are reading in page number 126 all right so the question here if Hafs according to your Islamic books and the book the, this is the book of Musnad Ahmad if Hafs is rejected for hadith why because he is a liar what is the reason he is a liar and look what it says look what it says هذا حديث غريب لا نعرفه إلا من هذا الوجه وليس له إسناد صحيح وحفص ابن أبو بن بن سليمان أبو عمر البزاز كوفي يضعف يضعف في الحديث so this guy he is a person who is hadith is rejected for he is a liar why he is rejected for he is a liar let us see the word liar again here we go You see it? وَكَانَ كَذَّابًا وَكَانَ كَذَّابًا This is the one the Muslims, they recite the Quran from him. In their books, and their scholars, all of them, they agree that he is a liar. And any hadith he mentioned, we should ignore. Why? Because he's a liar. He fabricates hadith. He is a thief. He steals books. Not only he steal books, he take books and he claim later that he is the one who wrote them. Look what it says. وَكَانَ يَأْخُذُ كُتُبُ النَّاسِ فَيَنْسَخُهَا يعني أنه كان ينسخ كتبا لم يسمعها فيحدث بها كأنها من سماعه ولذلك قال ابن معين كان حفص أبو بكر ويعني ابن عياش أعلم الناس بقراءة عاصم وكان أحس وكان حفص أقرأ أقرأ من أبي بكر وكان كذابا and he was a liar. Look at the Muslims in the text; they have no answer. They are worried now about the Bible. You see, when you put the Muslims in the corner, they talk about what? About the Bible. Do you see the disaster we are talking about? The Quran, the Muslim, they recite today is received to them, delivered to them by a guy they, they, not us, consider him kazab, which means a liar. How this is can be? No, no, I can give you the link, my friend. Uh, you can search for this book. This is Google book. Yeah, I know you don't speak Arabic, but you know the the Muslims. There's many of them speak Arabic too, and this is not 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 a secret. I'm giving you the page number. This is this is the book of Musnad Al Imam Ahmad, all right. And this is page number one twenty six in the front of your eyes. Okay. And I'm reading the text in the front of us one by one. So what else can I do? So the question for the Muslims, which is very simple. If Hafs is considered by you, Muslims, a liar, how you trust his Quran? How you accept his Quran and you refuse his Hadith? He is the only person who delivered the Quran to the Muslims today. Remember, the Quran is according to, according to, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It was only Hafs. This is only Hafs recitation. This is only Hafs recitation. And the funny, Hafs here learned the Quran from a guy, his name is Asim. And Asim, he is not a trustworthy too in the Hadith. He is a liar too. 
But actually, the fact they did not call him liar, they call him that his hadith fihi shay, which means his hadith he have a problems, is not accepted. So we have Asim, the teacher of uh, Hafs, he fabricate hadith, and we have uh, Hafs, he fabricate hadith. Now, according to this, what does that mean? Based on this, Muhammad he says, if somebody fabricate a hadith of my mouth, he will end in hellfire. So Hafs, Hafs will end in hellfire. As long as the Muslims admit that he is a liar, he fabricate hadith. Do you see the hadith in front of you? It says, whoever wrote on about me or from me, and he fabricated from me, he better go and end in hellfire. He should end in hellfire, for he is, in purpose, fabricated falsehood about me. So how the one who will end in hellfire he delivered the Quran for you. As long you Muslims agree that his hadith is fabrication, his hadith is nothing but a series of lies. And as long you agree that his hadith is not accepted, why? Because he is not a trustworthy. And not only that, you accuse him to be a liar and he's a thief. He is actually he's a fraud. Guys, when the book of Muslim Ahmad said by by the agreement of all the scholars look this is not only muslim ahmed saying that he is telling you how many scholars they say that about him they are saying that he borrow books and when he borrow it he don't borrow it just to borrow it he borrow it and then he claim he is the one who wrote it what he claim he is the one who wrote the books and it says and after that look it says let me let me repeat again uh وَكَانَ يَأْخُذُ كُتُبَ النَّاسِ فَيَنْسَخُهَا And he used to take the word, the, the, the books of people, of others, and he uh, make a copy of it. Which mean, he used to make a copy of books he never heard it before, which means that's not his book. And then he speak about it as if it is his book. فَيُحَدِّثُ بِهَا كَأَنَّهَا مِنْ سَمَائِهِ وَلِذَلِكَ قَالَ إِبْنُ مَعِينَ For this reason, Ibn Ma'in, he said, وَكَانَ حَفْصُ وَأَبُو بَكَرْ يعني, and, he, and, and uh, Hafs and, and Abu Bakr which means uh, the, the uh, Ibn Ayyash مِنْ أَعْلَى مِنْ نَاسِ بِقْرَاءَةَ Asim. He was the most professional when it's come to the reading of Asim. And then he says, and, when, and Hafs was better reading from Abu Bakr. Well, that's wonderful. And he was a liar. <laughs> How in the world you Muslims accept the Quran from someone you consider him as a liar and he's a thief and he's a fraud imagine somebody take my book and then he publish it as if it is his book what do you think of him this is exactly what it says here can this person be a trustworthy for the Quran to be given to you uh, John I don't have a I don't have a schedule my friend but the schedule we have usually in Friday afternoon New York time and Sunday afternoon New York time but sometime I open depend on my time so you see guys notice in the text Muslims have no answer you notice that look what the Muslim is busy about the Muslim is busy about talking about pagan you are the pagan you are the one who kiss black stones you're a prophet he said the black stone is the right hand of Allah and is going to have eyes and witness for you in the judgment day Who is the pagan? You believe in a living stone, which is the right hand of God. And this living stone is in the shape of a vagina. And then you talk about paganism, when you are the pagan one. But he is trying to take us off of the topic. Now, we are not done. My friend, we are not done. Look, this is a Muslim website, actually, in front of you. And have a collection of statement about uh, Hafs. Hafs, P 
people don't accept his hadith. And he always, he come with munkar al-hadith, not only rejected the, the disgusting one. And this is in the book of Al-Bukhari, At-Tariq al-Saghir, very number two, page number two, 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 three, three. Same mention that any hadith mentioned by Hafs, it's left alone, which means rejected. The book of Al-Bukhari, the book of al duafa al-Saghir, page number three, five. Uh, the book of Al-Albani, Da'ifu Sunan Al-Turmudi, the weak hadith of Al-Turmudi, Raqam Al-Safha, the page of uh, uh, number 348, it says, he's speaking about Hafs, he says, he mentioned this, etc., etc., he says, his hadith is Da'if Jiddan, his hadith is very weak, which means they're accusing him li literally that he's a liar. And look what it says, وحفص بن سليمان أبو عمر بزاز كوفي يضعف في يضعف في الحديث which means any any hadith is mentioned by حفص considered to be a weak hadith. Yeah. This is how liar he is. The book of Al-Albani, Irwa uh, al-Ghalil, uh, volume number one, page number two six zero. Abu Umar, هذا هو حفص بن سليمان القارئ الكوفي وهو متروك الحديث. Again, any hadith is coming from Hafs is rejected for he is a liar. I can, it's the, the list is endless. Like I wanna, if I read all of them, they are a lot. Look, look, look how many. All of them they are saying this is all reference about Hafs is a liar. And those in the Muslim Sunni books, this is not a Shia. Those 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 uh, reference those books are not Shia books. And this guy is supposedly considered as a Sunni for the Muslims. They consider him his best. Hafs. So, how this man who is called by you as a liar, fabricator, scumbag, who copy books of others and he claimed this is his book, how you can accept his Quran? Are you guys getting the point? How we can accept the Quran? No, no, they are not accepting his hadith because they don't like the contact only. They, they, they reject his hadith because it's proving that he's a liar. John, do you, do you hear me? I, I showed you here, it says it clearly that he is rejected because he is a liar. It says, I wish I can highlight it. Uh, he is a liar. He is, he is rejected for a very simple reason. He is a liar. And he's a thief. He steals books of others. So, how we accept the Quran? How we accept the Quran from somebody is proven by Muslims that he is a fraud. If this person, he is, you know, if Muhammad himself, he said that the one who fabricate one word about me, and this is hadith, he will go to hell, to hellfire. What it says? Read with me. Read with me, please. I'm not the one saying that. Anyone, he said things in purpose about me, he lie about me, he fabricate a hadith about me, he will end in hellfire. Who is saying that, Muhammad? So where is, where is uh, Hafs now, according to Muhammad? If Muhammad is a true, true prophet, and what he says is true, Hafs is in hellfire. That's crazy. <laughs> This is the Quran of God, the one is not fabricated, the one is preserved in the one, etc. And then it's coming from a fraud, proven to be a fraud by Muslims. A person who steal, a person who steal books, and then he, he doesn't steal books like, you know, he borrowed them and he keep them home. No, no, no. Listen carefully. That's not what he's saying. He steal books and he write them again and he claimed that those are his own books. <laughs> Like, what the heck? This is the one who you recite the Quran from him? And this hadith is rejected for he is a liar? And what is make it more funny, they are not only saying like, you know, he is not good. No, no, they are saying clearly, وَكَانَ كَذَّابًا وَكَانَ كَذَّابًا And he was a liar. I mean, I find that really amusing. 
He was a liar. <laughs> now, you see, uh, I can go all over the reference. Uh, it's endless reference, as I showed you in the page. But I think what we want more. And the Muslims agree about that. And those are the Muslim Sunnis. So this guy, he steal, this guy called Kadhaban. You see the word in the middle? Wakana Kadhaban. I wish here I can highlight Google Books, but I cannot. And uh, my mouse doesn't show in the screen when I put my hand, uh, my mouse in it. Yeah. So he is a liar. He is not accepted. And he is described as a filthy man who fabricated stories and as a thief. So how in the world we accept his Quran, but he, we refuse his hadith. Uh, by the way, which one is more high to the Muslims? If you ask a Muslim, which one is more important, the Quran or the hadith? The Muslim will say for sure the Quran, all right? If the Quran is the highest standard for you, then we should have a highest standard witnesses. Where it does say, servant, it's in front of you. Are you blind? Servant, are you drinking drinking too much camel urine? Don't you see it? I make it even with magnified. And still you can't see it? Still he can't see it. Again, this is the book of Musnad Ahmad. Let me show the reference. So any Muslim who want to say this is a lie? Here we go. Let me show the reference. This is Google Books. All right. Let us go there. You see it? The book of Musnad Ahmad, variant number two. And the page number is 126, as we showed you here in the screen. So don't tell me where it says that. All of this and where it says that? Let me see if I can post the link for you guys in, in, uh, in YouTube. I don't know if it's going to go through because the link is so long uh, because it's coming from the search engine. Let us see. Maybe it will work. Uh, it says no. 712 letters for the link. I need to make it short, I think. Let me see if I can make it short so you guys can have it. Okay. Google short and link. You yeah, okay. That's a good idea, right? So all of you can have the reference. <coughs> okay. All right, now it's working. Let me post it for you guys, so you can save it. Is the link is coming? Is it coming to you to your side, guys? Do you see it? Just let me know if it's working. Click in it, and tell me if the book open. In the same page we are talking about. <coughs> All right, wonderful. Now, we can show you endless numbers of reference about Hafs accused to be a liar by the Muslim Sunni. Endless. Look how many. Look, 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 look. I mean, what a shame. What a shame. All their scholars. Look what this hadith here is saying. The book of Majma al Zawaid, volume number one. Volume number one. All right. Page number 358. It says, reported by Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, 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 it says, and then it says, وَفِيهِ إِبْنُ حَفْسُ وَفِيهِ حَفْسُ بِنْ سُلَيْمَانَ ضَعَفَهُ إِبْنُ مَعِينَ وَالْبُخَارِ 
because it have inside halves, it became weak. Just because he is there. <laughs> you believe it? He, because Hafs is in the hadith, just because his name is mentioned that he is the one who reported the hadith, the hadith is cuckoo, poopoo, doo doo, garbage. So if the Quran is the highest standard of Islam, shouldn't we have a highest standard witnesses for the Quran? Hafs? And how a thief and a fraud and a scumbag was able to take his place in such a position. Hmm? Any Muslim can give us an answer? Any Abdul in the text would like to tell us? Amazing. And you know, uh, uh, the funny Muhammad he says خذ القرآن and أربعة take the Quran from four uh, let me see if I can find uh, the, the hadith in English خذ uh, uh, القرآن and أربعة Here we go. Muhammad said, Khud al Quran, take the Quran from four. Who are the four? Abdullah al Mas'ud, Wa Salim, Mawla Abi Hudayfa, Wa Ma'az ibn Jabal, Wa Abi bin Ka'ab. So who was Hafs? And who was the one who taught Hafs? If we go again to the Quran, we will see that he took the Quran from Asim. And however, Asim is a liar too. Do you believe it? Asim, the one which Hafs he learned the Quran from, is a liar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let me see <clears throat> if I can find you some reference about Asim. Uh, hadithuhu fihi shayt. Yeah, I, would, I would try, try to find uh, the one about Asim. Asim ibn Nujud. Here we go. وَقَالَ الدُّرُقُ etc. وَفِي حَفْظِ عَاصِمِ شَيْءٍ Let me show you the reference. This is the Muslim website, not my website as you see. All right. Here they are giving you all the reference about him. All right. And then he says that his hadith is rejected. Yukhti, he used to say, he, he used to make always a lot of mistakes. And he, he used to imagine things, uh, which mean actually he is a liar too. Which mean like if somebody is imagining hadith happened, but it never happened, this is mean it's a lie. So, حتى خرج عن حد الاحتجاج به لكثرة وهمه. They refused to accept his hadith because he he like he uh, uh, he have his own he he fabricate. This is awesome. The teacher of Hafs, Hafs he he learned from this guy. <laughs> you see the disaster. This guy his hadith is re is, is rejected. Why? Because he is a scumbag liar. Look what it says. وقال أبو حاتم لا يشتغل به ولا بروايته. It's not accepted. Not even him. 
not even his speech. And he is causing the hadith to be weak. And he is, his hadith is from Adahibul Hadith, which means the hadith is, is uh, go with the, with the sewage, rejected totally. And then he continue. Shariq ibn Abdullah and Abi Zara'a Aqal. The guy, his name is Shariq, the son of Abdullah, from the scholar Abu Zara'a, he said, كان كثير الخطأ صاحب وهم وهو يغلط أحيانا he was a lot of he knew a lot of errors when he report and he was صاحب وهم he fabricate and he make mistakes sometimes too now how someone he is fake false make mistakes imagine and he fabricate hadith is accepted to teach the Quran guys are you with me <laughs> How in God's sake this happened? I'm just showing you some of the reference. This is the guy who taught Hafs, but Hafs is, remember, he is a liar, scam back, he steals books, he fabricates books, and he claims those books are his. And any hadith he mentioned, his hadith is, is, re is re rejected automatically because he's a liar. And the Muslim called him a liar. This guy, the teacher of Hafs, Hafs, he took the Quran from him. The teacher of Hafs, he is a liar too. He fabricates hadith, he's a scam back. <laughs> Uh, look what what look al qattan al qattan is a very well known in Islam you know as 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 uh, 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 the scholars the big scholars he said ma wajadtu is rajulan ismuhu asim illa wajadtahu radiu al hif radiu al hif this is very dangerous I never met a man his name is asim because of this guy but he is always very bad. In memorizing <coughs> things but this is the one who taught the Quran to, to Hafs this is the guy who taught <coughs> the Quran to Hafs if the one who taught the Quran to Hafs is a scumbag he do not know he don't memorize very good he make a lot of mistakes he fabricate things but remember we show you the hadith Muhammad he says anyone fabricate anything from me he will into hellfire so this guy will be in hellfire if those are the one who deliver the Quran for you, so how you accept the Quran? وقال الدرق الدرقطاني في حفظ عاصم شيء in his in his uh, recitation شيء have a problem have a problem what this is the guy who memorized the Quran his memorizing have a problem so how you accept the Quran from him? And here it says, وَلَيْسَ مَحَلَّهُ أَنْ يُقَالَ ثِقَةً He is not trustworthy. And he was not really a hafiz, which means not, not one of those who they uh, memorize. So how he memorized the Quran? And Nisa'i, he says he is not a hafiz. He don't really memorize. Al-Aqili, he said, he have nothing but very bad memorization. Ibn Kharraj قال, he said, في حديثه نكرة, the hadith he mentioned is rejected and bad, disgusting. نكرة, which means it's, it's a lie. Uh, I mean, it's endless. So how we can accept this guy to be a person who deliver for us the hadith uh, sorry deliver the, the, to us the Quran if the Muslim they say about him all those things then we go back to Hafs Hafs the one who is considered as a liar as a thief he learned the Quran from this guy so we have two guys who they are the major reasons for the Quran to be exist today the master, which is awesome, which they said about him that his his recitation is very bad. He uh, he he fabricates the stuff. He uh, uh, he is not truthful, and uh, and his hadith is rejected. And we have another guy who learned from him, who his hadith is rejected, and he is a thief. He f he is a fraud, who he copy books and he he claim that they are his books. So how we can solve this problem now? This is the Quran. 
Uh, John, we don't want to change the topic now. You see, the, the, let me tell you something about Muhammad being son of someone uh, uh, and then his, his, his birth four years after Muhammad. I believe that all Islamic books is a fabrication. This is why the dates doesn't match. Otherwise, Muhammad, he have to be the son of someone else. As simple as that. If the date about Muhammad is born four years after his father's death, the answer is very simple. If this is a true story, that's mean Muhammad is not the son of Abdullah. Abdullah, the Muslim, they claim he is his father. However, I believe that all Muslims' books is, as you see, as you see, the one who reported the Quran is a scumbag. You know what I mean? Well, if you if you order my book, you will see the reference, my friend. If you see, if you have my book, if you have a deception of Allah and Quran and science, uh, you will have. Uh, however, all Muslim books are not trustworthy, starting from the Quran. Like when we start today, we start mentioning this hadith, this uh, this uh, verse. Allah is saying, if if the ocean water was ink, is not going to be enough to write His words. But this is very stupid. Why? Because in different uh, Quran. Muhammad he said in chapter of Al-Ahzab uh, uh, chapter 33 verse number 40 Muhammad is the seal of the Prophet which means after that Allah is a mute so if Allah his words all the water in the ocean if it was ink will not be enough to write it so where is the book where is the words of Allah you know what I mean this is how simple how easy is it to destroy the Quran if Allah is saying if all the ocean of uh, was ink all of it and you know, can you imagine how much ink that is it will be you can print the whole Quran in little tiny cup of, of ink doesn't even take a, a cup the whole Quran we have today so how Muhammad he says in his Quran that this book or oh, sorry the word of Allah if the ocean was ink would not be enough to write his words so where are they Don't worry, John, you can ask me. But we want to focus on those things now. And uh, so this is how stupid the one who believe in Islam, because the second you accept that the one who gave you the Quran is a scumbag, is a liar. And you are the one who call him liar, not me. And you are the one who call him a fraud, not me. And you are the one who reject his hadith, not me. And then you accept his Quran. If we want to have somebody in the court and we have a report from the police that he is a thief, he will not be accepted to be a witness. Uh, Leo, don't insult anyone in the room, please, in the, in the chat, otherwise I will block you. Anyone is welcome to ask us questions. And there's no need to uh, to insult others he's more than welcome here and uh, I like actually I like his questions that's mean he is searching and he is studying not like those who come here and they just uh, you know they don't take reference and they don't care so a very important thing we need to learn <clears throat> uh, that the Quran today is received and delivered by someone is a trust not trustworthy by Muslims is a fraud according to Muslims he was called liar according to Muslims he learned the Quran from his master which is a fraud and a liar too according to Muslims then what is the true Quran what is the true Quran who is the trust Muslim, trustworthy Uthman ibn Affan himself, the one who collected the Quran, the Muslims, they killed him and they refused to bury him with the Muslims. They buried him with the Jews. He was not a trustworthy too. At least for the Muslims. So we have a chain of scumbag, according to Muslims, who Muslims received the Quran from them and yet the Muslims, they want to say to us that the Quran is preserved. Not to forget to mention that Quran you know, it's not only not preserved, the Quran is missing big deal. Like, you know, Omar, he said, we showed you the hadith before, that the Quran was a, 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 a thousand thousand letter, a thousand thousand and twenty seven thousand letter. And and the Quran today is not even, I think, 227. There's different numbers, but like the maximum, 
maybe 227,000 or 67, I don't know, which means more than 70% of the Quran is gone. And we remember the hadith where, uh, where Aisha, she reported that a goat, she ate the Quran, and those verses now is missing, and we cannot find them. So now we we you know we saw uh, many problems in this religion, and the biggest problem is even the Quran, which is delivered to the Muslims today, is delivered by a fraud person who copy books, who fabricate books, who fabricate hadith about Muhammad, and Muhammad said clearly that the one who fabricate hadith about me, he will end in hellfire. Anyone who do that. Based on this, as long as the Muslims agree that Hafs is a fabricator, he fabricates hadith, and all his hadith is rejected, then Hafs is going to end in hellfire as we see in front of our, our eyes. Otherwise, Muhammad himself is a lying. If Hafs will not go to heaven, sorry, to hell. So I wanted to uh, like open early today and share this with you. And feel free, please, to share this uh, video with your friends. Uh, 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 if you guys have a topic you want me to talk about, I'm talking, quoting the hadith from Ibn Majah. This is Sahih Muslim Abdul, not Ibn Majah. And what's wrong with Ibn Majah? What's wrong with Ibn Majah? Here we go. Ibn Majah is a scumbag, too. Hey servant, what's wrong with Ibn Majah? He's a scumbag too. You see, the Muslims they have six books of Sahih. There are six, and Ibn Majah is one of them. It's not only Sahih al Bukhari is Sahih. It's not only Sahih Muslim is Sahih. There are six books. So what's wrong with Ibn Majah? Some narration indeed weak. Uh, indeed, here we go. The, you know the, the 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 problem of weak or strong. How we can find this? How we can follow this religion if you Muslims have a lot of weak hadith? And who is the one who decide what is weak, what is not? Because some of you says it's weak. The other one he says it's strong. I can show you one hadith once appearing as weak and once is appearing as strong. The same hadith. So which one we take? And here we go. The hadith about the goat is not weak, my friend. It's not. I will show you in front of your eyes. Here we go. <clears throat> and by the way, in the book itself, it doesn't say even anything about it, if it's weak or strong. Here we go. Do you see it? It says Hassan. I'm trying to, to zoom in. Let us see if we zoom. <coughs> okay, now it's showing. Do you see it? The grade is Hassan. Are you happy now? Are you? It is what? It is Hassan. So week, the, the, the game of week is gone. So what we will do now? And this, this hadith speak about Arda al Kabir, the breastfeeding for adult. Uh, and this is about Sahla bin Suhail. The woman who Muhammad he ordered her to give her boobs to an old man so he can suckle it. All right. I can show it to you from many places, Sunnah Ibn Dawood and Sahih Muslim, etc. Now, are you going to say this is weak? It's not. This is Sahih Muslim, as you see. It's not weak. So, what we will, what we will do now? What we will do? Do you see it, guys? It says Sahih. Do you see the Hadith? It says Sahih, because he will say it's weak. Hold on. The 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 word weak is ready. It's like you know a copy paste. Anything you show them, it is said to you weak. Do you see it? It says Sahih. So now what we will do? 
Let us zoom in. It's not showing yet. Uh -huh. Okay, we need we need to uh, to make it smaller too. That maybe will make it show in the screen. I hope now it's showing. It says Sahih. Do you see it? The Prophet is ordering a woman to give her boobs to a strange man. He have a beard. Do you say it says has a beard? Guys, first of all, you see it says Sahih, right? Does it say Sahih? Do you see it? Tell me, please, if you see it. It says Sahih, right? So we have no problem with this. Now, let us zoom in. I heard Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, says, Sahla bintu Suhail came to the Messenger of Allah. Oh, Messenger of Allah, I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa. This is the husband. When Salim, he entered upon me. So this guy, he don't like it. When this guy, he entered upon her. The Messenger, he said, breastfeed him. You know, the Muslim, they say to you, oh, you know, the, 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 the Prophet, he ordered her to give milk to him. Look with me. It says, breastfeed him. Suckle him, not give him some milk. What do you mean give him some milk? She's a cow and she's an old woman. She don't have a baby. Do you think women have always milk? What do you think women? They have a, they are a refrigerator and they have milk anytime you, you, you click at the nipples. They have milk always. So breastfeed him, she said. He has a beard. He has what? He has a beard. He said breastfeed him and that will take away his displeasure. Of the face of Abu Hudayfa. What do you say about this? Muhammad Ibn Ishaq. Don't talk about Ibn Ishaq because if you talk about Ibn Ishaq, I will show you something. You, you will, I will show you how, how crazy Ibn Ishaq is. So, do you accept Ibn Ishaq's servant? Say yes. Say yes. I challenge you. Servant, say yes. I accept Ibn Ishaq. Say yes. Be a man. Hello, I want you to say yes. Say I accept Ibn Ishaq. He's so quiet now. Oh, John, they believe it for sure. This is the Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, man. Don't say that. The Prophet is so smart. He is the best of mankind. This is why, actually, I'm very happy that the Muslims they have something that's called hadith, because by the hadith, Muhammad exposed himself. You know he got himself busted and as you see this is Sahih and by the way I'm not against the breastfeeding for adult I mean that's fun I'm going to visit my neighbor when I go in the Middle East and right away I will knock at the door and I will ask his wife to give me her breast and if the husband he show up I will show him the hadith Right? What weak narrator, you idiot liar? What weak narrator? It says in the front of you, Sahih, you dummy. Guys, it's a weak narrator. It says in the front of us, Sahih. It's a weak narrator. <laughs> in, in the Muslim website, in their books, it says Sahih, it's a weak narrator. Just because they are ashamed of what their prophet is teaching. This is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. Now, I want people here, I want to see how many people of you want to copy this video and want to split it around in your account. Who want to promise me to do that today? How many of you want to help me to spread the truth? Because this is a very important video. We showed you that the Quran founder the one the Muslims they copied the Quran from is called accused to be a liar, a scumbag, a fraud by the Muslim themselves. I would like you to copy my video. You see, I'm not like those fake Christians who uh, they want the glory for their own and they want many subscribers. I don't care. I don't want subscribers. If I have one or ten, it doesn't matter really. I will be happy to have you one having a million subscriber and post my video there. Even all your subscribers is coming from me which because of my videos. I am very happy to hear that. I'm not working for myself, not for my glory. We are here 
to serve the truth. That's why I keep asking people to copy my videos. All right. Uh, yeah, copy the video. You can uh, share it as a video in Google Drive and YouTube, uh, etc. Play it in some uh, broadcast website. Feel free. You know, I have no problem with that. Uh, people need to learn and people need to see. All right. Uh, again, before we finish our, uh, isn't it one of the asnads of Hafs ibn Mas'ud? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, ibn Mas uh, you see, the, you are talking about, about what? About the Quran? The Quran supposedly should be taken. Muhammad, he says, Khudu Quran and Arba. One of them is in Ibn Mas'ud. All right? But the only one mentioned there in the Quran they have today, uh, there's only one mention, but even that one, as we you know, actually, we should make a study for each one of them to show you that all of them, they are scammed back. Starting from Ali, sorry, starting from Omar, sorry. Um, Uthman, I'm, man, I'm, I'm forgetting. Starting from Uthman ibn Affan, he was killed by Muslims, tortured by Muslims, rejected to be paired between Muslims because they consider him a pagan and they consider him to be, to be a Jew. This is the end of Uthman. Go and read the history of Uthman. And then we find that the Quran today we have is coming from Hafs. And Hafs he learned from the Quran from Asim, but Hafs and Asim, both of them, they are liars. So what you can say? Any more comments? Well, uh, uh, I go to anywhere. Please, uh, people invite me. If you like me to come to your church, invite me, and I will be happy to go there. And I do what I do for free. Remember, if you want to invite me to your church, especially if your church is poor, I will be happy to go to poor churches. I'm not really interested too much in that rich one. I love the poor. I have a passionate for them. And I love to serve them. So if you are uh, interested to invite me to your church to teach about Islam, I will be so happy to go. And I do everything for free absolutely for free which means don't pay me anything i will pay for my food if you cannot find me a couch to sleep in i will sleep i will find a hotel don't worry all right i'm a very humble man uh, i don't really care for all those things uh, now there's people who help us in donation and the donation we use it for this what this what the donation for you know if uh, 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 like soon I'm, i might go again to asia uh, if not those people who help us on donation, I will not be able to do it by myself. But we don't ask from we don't ask those people who they invite me to give because most of them they are poor. Actually, until now, all those people who invited me they are poor, mostly. Uh, any, I will go anywhere. You know, invite me, I will go. All right, just make it work, make it happen. No, you have to make it happen. I cannot just come. <laughs> I, I cannot just come. You have to invite me. You have to tell your church. They have to agree to have me. And you prepare to the occasion, the date, at the time. We can do more than one seminar. You know. So for me, then I come after you organize everything for, for me. Otherwise, what I will do if I go to somewhere? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Thank you, John. Actually, I know a lot of you do love to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to invite me, and I will be happy. Uh, to to see you all of you actually there's many many of those wonderful Christians who really uh, I'm so proud to know them uh, sometimes I'm disappointed of Christians not doing their job but the fact there's a lot of wonderful Christians who really they are truly very uh, they are better a lot better Christians than me I am I am I'm no one comparing to them uh, however if you like to invite me I will be happy to go uh, don't worry, don't worry, Irene. You see, the Lord is my protector, and I always, he provide me with the good sense. When I speak to someone, right away I feel evil or good, and I never fail. You know what I mean? Right away, when somebody speaks to me, I feel it. 
<clears throat> invite me if you like me to come to Malaysia but I think in Malaysia you have we have to do it secretly right still I will go I have no problem I have no fear even in a Muslim country where Muslims are so crazy and mad I will go invite me and make it happen all right so uh, always always uh, you know if, if we if we don't like if we are a part of the community and we don't want to do our part then what is the use of us in the community why well, you call yourself a member of uh, of a church or a member of, of Christ uh, a church or uh, a member even if your community I mean what the what the point of your life what do you do in life just eat drink sleep and that's it get married have kids and then one day they will put you in a little hole and they put some dust on you is that true do you want really to end this way or you want to be remembered for things you did you want to be remembered not by people by by, by the Lord himself the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them so one day you will witness in the front of the Lord and you will bring your fruits with you what is your fruits what you will you will say I was uh, I was busy watching cartoon I was uh, busy watching Dr. Phil I, I built a house all of us we needed to have a house the Lord he provide you he's blessing you with many things that's wonderful you go to work you make money etc that's good but still you have to come with something in your hands don't go empty hands my friend don't go with empty hands and meet your Lord that would be a very shame and that would be very embarrassing all right you want to invite me to Islam to get what servant to get 72 versions and Allah will make my penis endless and then the cable company they will have a contract with me to use my penis as a cable uh, for internet you invite me to Islam we just showed you you idiot that your prophet is an idiot ordering women to give her boobs to a man he have a beard you want me to you want to invite me to Islam so if I get married my wife she will say to me I want to give my breast to this guy is that what do you want exactly I have no view of the bombing in Manchester my friend this is Islam what view are you going are we going to fool ourselves this is Islam exactly and you will see more and more and more just go and see just in the last 40 48 hours how many bombing happened in the world not only in Manchester and the funny about people by the way that if a bombing happened in a Western country the whole world had to go crazy but when a Christian poor Christians in Africa get killed by Muslims nobody remember when poor Christians kidnapped and slaughtered by Muslims in Philippines nobody remember but if some Western people get kidnapped or killed the whole world have to cry my friend that's what Muslims do everywhere everywhere that is Islam it's ugly what they did in Manchester yes but this is like this is the only one you saw what about Boko Haram they are kidnapping slaughtering Christian girls for 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 years and years and Muhammad himself was the biggest criminal before them so my friend be truthful and remember you know uh, 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 always always you know we have a problem that we focus in the media the media don't report to you what is what is happening the media report to you what they want you to hear what's happening is a lot more ugly a lot more ugly than you can imagine I saw in the media in the TV station they are pointing the camera down the world the, the, the road and they are saying those are from Isis 12 men and one woman and one child they were saying those are from Isis the fact those are victims of Isis killed by Isis and they are Christians and imagine the media switch it upside down saying that those are killed by the army and they are members of Isis so they made the Christians Isis Anyway, guys, uh, I want to make this video short because I want people to copy it and paste it again. I don't want to keep talking here because we finish our topic. So let us memorize what we, uh, or let us summarize what we what we said. Uh, Hafs, Hafs, 
the, the, the one which the Muslim they report the Quran from, we found tons of reference, and one of them is Musnad Ahmad, very number two, page number 126. It says that Huff, Huffs was a fraud. He copied books of others, and he claimed it to be his own. Huffs is hadith is rejected, for he's a liar. Huffs is a liar. Huffs, any hadith, his name is mentioned in it, is rejected autom automatically because he is a rejected person, is not a trustworthy. And Hafs himself, he learned the Quran from another master. And his master himself, which is Asim uh, bin Abi Nujud, himself is a fraud, as we showed you with the reference. And that means that everything the Muslims have is coming from a fraud. By a fraud, his name is Muhammad. With this, I want to say thank you. God bless you. I might do broadcast again. Maybe in maybe in half hour or an hour from now. Uh, if you want me to talk about a certain topic, please let me know. Then, if we broadcast again, we can go and do it. Uh, yeah, maybe an hour from now, maybe half hour. I'm not sure. All right, maybe an hour. We will see. Uh, anyway, just subscribe to that channel, and when we are on on air, uh, you will be not notified. All right. Now, the coming video, I'm going to talk about something else, different topic. It's about uh, yeah, you know yesterday we have a Pakistani girl who came to our room I will play some of the video conversation happened between me and her and we will share our comments about that video But for now this video is extremely important. Please download it and share it with your friends With this I want to say God bless you. May the Lord keep you safe and see you soon again Maybe in 30 or one hour maximum. We will be back on air be with us Christ is Lord Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon again